like black one of the most dopest videos that came out of bad boy in his early traditions was the uh craig mac flavin yeah remix i believe you was there black definitely was there flavin yeah remix i think we was in the, i think we, we shot the video in a, in a warehouse in queens and the people that was involved was ll cool j Rampage, Buster Rhymes, Craig Mack, Big, Mack. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, but that record, that record, that record, man. Let me ask you, like, did you hear Big's part before the video? Uh, no. At, at the video, that's when Big came with his part. Which I thought was extraordinary, incredible. But that was big, you know, for what I learned to Big all the times I was around him. Big was a genius at, at, at the way he puts his lyrics together. I never really seen him write a lyric down, but it's just Big meditates in a beat and goes in the booth and spits it like it's nothing. Yeah, it was crazy because you got, you got Puff in the beginning, right, bringing the moniker, the whole bad boy moniker you know, when he comes, bad boy, come out and play. That's, that's from a movie, right? Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, we see, we see a big starts it off, correct? Mm -hmm. Or Craig Mack starts the verse off. Uh, who got past the hash rate? Back now, the cash rate. Big. Big. Big starts it off. Big comes first in the record. And, and it's crazy. Yeah. I yeah. mean, crazy. Getting more ass than ass trick. Right, right. So, so, so you, you, you on set? What, what is that? What's that feeling like, man? The, the, the intensity was just a lot of movement around. Wardrobe was flying, you know. Playback actions, quiet on the set, you know, all those type of things that go on with a set was really going on with the set, you know. Uh, uh, prepping the artists for, for are you sure you're going to say this? You got the, the right lyrics down on the paper. You know, uh, it was a lot of pandemonium on the set. You know, Puffy wanted to make sure things was right. Hype, the director, wanted to make sure that things was right. Uh, lighting, et cetera, you know, the the, the, the music, playback. It was just a, it was a set that, that, that everybody that was there had a purpose to be there. And that's what ultimately made the, the, the video one of the best videos coming out of Bad Boy Entertainment. Now your part, you know, we we get you coming out with the bandana on, no shirt. Mm -hmm. It it for 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 the fans, it was the face. Yeah, sauce was. Nah, nah, not okay. even the sauce. The the flavor your remix, right? Absolutely. Is is Mark Pitts grabbing you? You got yeah. Mark Pitts in it, yeah, RP, grabbing yeah. you up with the height. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, and you in the forefront of the hype. That's a fact. That's a fact. Who that idea was, was to throw y'all in there like that, that at was, the end? That was hype and puff. You know, uh, I never really asked him to this day why he chose that scene selection for us. But whatever it was, whatever he decided, it was what he decided. And just for us to get that call was incredible. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, you know, I, I, I thought I was going to be in the middle, the beginning of the video, but... I guess being in the end, you you know the, the you know last comes first. Mm. Now let me ask you, was that record the record that helped get Big off to where he's in a, a, a public side nationally? Well, I think that record. Uh, I think that record made the listeners to the brand listen to the brand. Okay, okay. You understand what I'm saying? So so I think I think that 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 particular record flavoring year, I think that record was 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 solidified the the, the product and the material of Bad Boy Entertainment. So whatever artist that came after that record was sure to blow because of that particular Was Gene Nelson have something to do with Craig Mack at that uh, time? Yeah, Gene Nelson was friends with Alvin Tony. Shout out to Alvin Tony. Wherever you at in the world, baby boy, mm -hmm. where you at? But, you know, I knew Alvin Tony before I really met Craig Mack. 
you know, like I told, like, like you know, because I was in group homes in Long Island early stages before my industry life. Mm -hmm. I was in group homes, and and, and, and and the particular place where I was at in the group home, I met a lot of the dudes that was around this group home area, and Alvin Tony happened to be one of them. So, so, so. So who brings the flavor in your ear record to Puff? Or that's a, a production that was done through the bad boy vein. Yeah, I think that was an in-house producer thing. You know, mm -hmm. whatever Puff established with his producers was, was you know, because there wasn't too many out producers, you know. Puffy had his brand, Puffy had his company. And with that, I know Puffy wanted his own producers. So I'm thinking that was in-house, more, more or less it was in-house. But uh, I don't even know. I have, to, I have to go back to find out who actually did that record. I think Easy Mo B maybe did that record. Now for the for the uh Craig Mac Big Mac mixtape, the uh promotional uh concept behind that, uh was that done around the flavor in your ear? Uh yeah. So that was what it was. The yeah. flavor in your ear of yeah. A and B the remix? Yeah, that was that was that was that was a lot of energy involved in that uh Big Mac. Uh this, that was sort of, you know, because we had two uh, both tough artists, Big and Craig. Craig came first, then Big came, and as as an idea to put both of them together to get the people to believe in the brand even better, is to put Big on one side and Craig on the other side, so that way people were getting two for one. Mm. And they thought that was a brilliant idea. You know, we put real lettuce in there. Uh, 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 we just put a tape and a, and a hamburger bun called the Craig Mac, the Big Mac. It was called. The promotional item was called the Big Mac, and 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 what that resembled was Big on the A side of the mixtape, and Craig on the B side of the mixtape, which was in the sandwich. Okay, A and B side. A and B side. 